I can't, I can't even say enough about uh, our young players and our bench and just the contributions we have. Um, they played like veterans, and um, you know that was as good as we played all year, and probably you know, as good as we played in a long time, just as a group for you know nine, ten people. So we'll take it. It's a good way to get ready to go on a road trip. That's going to be hard. Questions. Coach, were you surprised at all by the rookies' performances? I mean, pine down is physical, but to do that, um, kind of well, given that we had played them in the preseason, I saw that we could do some of the things that we did tonight. Obviously, they didn't have Maya that game, but we didn't have Christy or Crystal that night. Uh, there was hope that they uh, they could do some of the things. One of the great things about Maisha and Ariel is that they're not afraid of anything. They just one of the reasons we took them is that they. Um, they aren't afraid of big moments. Um, they kind of relish it, and they believe that they belong out there. And so, it's uh, it's a great feeling as a coach when you you know talk about young players that you know they do those kinds of things. And then we just got great poise from a lot of other people. I mean, you know, Tosh and Christy took care of the ball and got everybody. You know, you're playing with two rookies sometimes. You're trying to get them organized, um, and we just made really good decisions um, down the stretch. What about that second quarter run? You really shot yourself back into the game and the three-pointer was falling all night. What, what well, did you kind of see? What you know, I mean, what? it was a focus of us in training camp that we had to take a fair amount of those shots um, to space the floor. It got us some drives later on because of it. When you start making those, now the, op the inside opens up. You know, at the end, Tosh was able to drive. Christy was able to drive because they're afraid to help because we are knocking down threes. Uh, the second quarter run shocked me a little bit that it just kept going. You know, I mean, you know, sometimes you go on those runs and they're 10 points or 12 points and then it lulls. It just kept going. And so, you know, when you look down, I think it was 35 points or whatever it was for the quarter. You, you, you're in shock that, you know, you just, given that you can only score 11 in the first 10 minutes, um, that's quite a turnaround. Coach, Sylvia Fowles had about six to ten points in the first three minutes of the game. What was the defensive shift to kind of not shut her down but keep her under control for well, the rest of the game? Well, <clears throat> we stay attached a little bit better. Um, I thought early in the game she got early runouts in transition. She got post-ups before we could get enough people there to help uh, because we were missing her turning the ball over early. It's a little bit easier to get matched up on her when the ball's going through the net at your end and everybody can get back. I thought that was part of it. Second part is we changed up our double teams throughout the game, tried to give her some different looks as to who was coming to help. A couple times we triple teamed her and tried to make her a passer, uh, which we did a better job of uh, after the first quarter. Mike, we heard Elena was feeling well. Uh, she has dehydration, um, and you know, the doctor's looking at it and they said that uh, she wasn't ready, ready to go back. Uh, hopefully, over the next 48 hours, we can get her hydrated and feeling better. But it's just one of those things that happens. You know, sometimes I don't know. You get that sometimes when you have the flu. I'm not going to speculate, but she just she she just run out of gas and was dehydrated. So, so when you when you look at the last season of the playoff, you're thinking, how do you get more help for her? The fact that you guys did this, and she didn't even play in the second yeah. half. Yeah, I mean that's that's a huge thing for us. Is that you know she. Uh, she was gassed, and we had other people take, you know, take the spots. I mean, we were playing small for a while. We played uh, Rough and Pratt as our power forward for part of the game, uh, partly to get matched up with them with Maya Moore, but partly to spread the floor on them too. So uh, it's a good sign. Um, you know, we'll see how that carries over into this week. Uh, we got we got an incredible schedule this week: five games, eight days, and you know, we'll just go out and get ready for Seattle and see what happens. Talk a little bit about Christie's performance tonight. Led the team in scoring, but really yeah. great show out there. You well, that, I mean, that's that's why you know we recruited her so hard in free agency is for what you saw today. You know, she she won us a playoff game playing like that in New York last year. Um, you know, she feels confident right now. She's in the best shape I've seen her in in years. Uh, physically that she can go all day um, and she feels good about it and she's putting in the work. You talked a little bit earlier in this week about the lineups. You're still trying to figure out the right lineups. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to throw them into a hat tomorrow okay, yeah. and see what, see what comes out. I was going to say if the bench has been playing so yeah. well, do you, do you sense a starting uh, shift coming up? I, well, that's something I want to watch the film and talk about. Uh, certainly, we have to consider it yeah. um, based on what's going on. Then you got to figure out a way, okay, now we come up with a new rotation and how you balance it. I don't know what that's going to be yet. You know, the first 10 games usually of the season are a little bit experimental when you have some new people, and probably we're still going to be experimenting a little bit over the next week or two. That Fowles matchup is really tough for Crystal, for anybody. Yeah, it's but, tough for anybody. Yeah, are you confident in that small ball lineup that you have this season? Well, um, 
We're starting to call Maisha Draymond Green, so you know, <laughs> she, she wants to handle it, she wants to shoot jumpers, she wants to, you know, but she's so physical and she has great fundamental technique. I mean, I thought her and Tiana did an unbelievable job of blocking out fouls and keeping her from going over their back. Uh, and then they got a couple loose ball fouls on fouls trying to get rebounds by, by blocking her out. So, you know, it's a hard matchup for anybody in this league. Uh, I'll take what we got out of it today. You're not always going to be that fortunate. You guys are 4 0 for the first time in franchise history, and then jumping out to a quick lead first team in the WNBA up to, out to four wins. That at least means something, just getting off to a quick start. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it does because it's such a short season. I mean, um, those are in the bank. You know, you, you, uh, you know, at the end of the year, they don't care when you got them, how you got them, it's just that, that you got them. So 4 0 gives us uh, the start, you know, that most people would die for, and so uh, we'll take it. Latoya did dress today. Do you see her starting soon, or, or not starting? Um, well, she's been practicing play. a little bit. Uh, she's not going to go to us in Seattle. She has one more um, doctor appointment on Tuesday. Uh, she's going to meet us in Phoenix, and then we'll see how it goes. See how the games go, and see how her practices go. But she's starting to feel better too, so that's a good sign. And you know, hopefully, we'll see Tay in three or four weeks, and then we'll be complete.